What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Mines World and right now we're going to be talking about how I got my free 100k from EA Sports. If you guys have been following the channel you would have seen that I put out the Series 2 Mutt Master objectives list and explained to you guys how we were going to go about doing it. I showed you everything you needed to do. A lot of you guys have already received your 100k. Well you guys are special. I'm not as special. I just got it now and we're going to be talking about it uh, right now. Alright so here we go. Pretty much what's going to happen is this right? Um, you have to get 200 stars uh, in addition to getting the fumbles that we're going to talk about in a second. But this is also uh, adding boost to your uh, level master who is Andre Johnson. We'll get to that and I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of that as we go through. But um, right now we're going to go down and take a look at some of the things that are going on. You'll see that the objective complete pops up in the top right from Mutt Master Series 2. So we're all done with that. Every series, you're gonna have the opportunity to go ahead and get 100K from completing these situations, um, you know, these objectives that EA Sports has given us. So now we have 100%. Now, I'm, again, I'm gonna point this out because I need you guys to understand. Every series is going to reduce the previous series by, uh, what is it, three, like 75%. So the first series, we got 100K, but if you were to do the series one right now with the list that's here, you would only get 25k. Currently, we're in Master uh, Series 2, so we all will get 100k. Well, pretty much 120k, because you get 5k for each individual one. The Force Fumbles, we went over it. That video is available right here. We also got a lot of good feedback uh, from a lot of people in the community that left comments on how you can also force the fumbles very, very easy with Sam Mills to go ahead and take care of that. And then as far as the, the stars, you just have to be a grinder. Like I said, I'm a hybrid, bro. I grind the game and I'll you know let the Pat Goddess hold me down every now and again to get me some coins because she knows what she's doing, obviously, and I had no idea what was going on. So that is what it is right there. Let's go ahead now and take a look at um, you know, pretty much what we're going to be doing with the 100K that we just, uh, you know, received. I put so much time into the game recently, um, you know, trying to build a squad and do certain things uh, with the team. I do want to point out, uh, in case you guys got that Vincent Jackson, um, he, like, I, like I've said previously, did not get the deep route chemistry that was enough to be able to unlock deep out and deep in um, on the card. There was a glitch that was in the game. And uh, some of the guys notified me to it that if you didn't use the power of Vincent Jackson and just use the actual card, you would be able to get it. I had it for a day. I was mossing dudes. I got reported to EA. It was patched. So he no longer can get that. So I just want to point out a couple things. Number one, if you have him, raid sell him immediately because he's useless because you don't have the opportunity for, uh, you know, the aggressive catches. Even if you don't know how to uh, pull off the G Maya streak, it's still a situation where it's useless. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would they do that? I have no idea, but it doesn't really matter. That's not what this is about. What we have to figure out is how are we gonna get better? All right, so his price completely dropped down and plummeted because he doesn't get those abilities to kind of activate uh, those animations. So I just wanted to go ahead and point that out, that this would not be something that I would be going after. He had already been raid sold as soon as EA patched it. And they still haven't given me back my training um, that I had on them. They just took it, you know, whatever. I sold the card. And it's just gone, bro. It is what it is. So at the end of the day, um, what did I sell him for? Let me just go ahead and show you guys what was going on with that. Um, where is he? That dude is garbage, bro. Where's, where's Vincent Jackson at? I know I raid sold him. He has to be a some. Okay, there, no, that's a 77 for 445 now. Yes, sir, bro, bro, yo, bro. Yes, sir. Hold me down, then. Okay, where's the 91 though? I don't see the nine. Okay, there he is. Okay, I missed him right away. So I sold him for 211. Um, his price is gonna stay right around there. Uh, for you know. I, I don't see any reason why anybody would want a physical um, wide receiver that can't go up and get the ball. And unfortunately, the animations will not trigger. Uh, the deep is, I believe, 25 yards or more. So you might be able to use the mid on him, like the mid in, mid out. But it makes it very, it's just terrible. Because what happens is EA Sports is letting people just do whatever they want. And it's not forcing them to get better at the game. What happens is you don't have to do any adjustments. EA just patches stuff. And then that's pretty much it. So with the way that it is right now, it doesn't force a user to click on and try to get an interception. They just don't allow him to get it because he's 6'5", and they know he can actually go up there and moss dudes. So right here, let's go ahead and uh, add that um, that upgrade token to uh, this guy over here. Let's go ahead. I think we have that because I just unlocked it right You know, as you guys are here with me now. So he's going to actually go up to, I believe, like a 92 speed he should be at right now. Yeah, so the, the level master is looking pretty good. The reason that I point this out 
is because if you have Tyreek Hill, he right now is better than Tyreek Hill just with the base with the 91 speed. You know, if you put Sprinter on him and you max him out with any uh, team chem, he's a 92 speed card right now at 6'3". It's insanity. All right, now again, with the way that this is, because he's physical, he doesn't get the deep, um, he doesn't get this until he achieves 90 deep route run. And Vincent Jackson just got to 89. So he's, remember, it goes by the base card itself, not after you add chems. So he's pretty much useless for us right now. And let me just let you guys understand that. EA is well aware of what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? They understand the game that they put out. They know what's going on. It's not like they don't understand and it's like coincidence. There is no coincidence. They know that dudes like me, I'm looking to deep rock run somebody. So what, what's going to happen is he's boosted, but he's boosted through chems. All right. His actual card does not get it. So that's going to be a problem until he actually gets it. So with right here, I don't th what did they give him any deep route run for this? Um, run block power, deep route. Where's deep route run? Yeah, 85. So that's where he's going to stay. I believe I don't think he goes up anymore. He's going to get catching traffic, you know, some other stuff. But again, for those of the people that are still running uh, things like bench press, he's a good receiver to have that comes in because he's sneaky fast. And people don't realize that he's a 92 speed. You see what I'm saying? If you have your theme team maxed out and you have Sprinter, he's like a secret card. The people are like, yo, he's a free card. I'm going to press him. He's beating you for six every single time. So that's just something that you guys should, uh, you know, be aware of and keep in the in your back pocket. Um, you know, very, very important. Just watch out for that situation right there. Now, getting back to like upgrading the squad, like what am I going to do uh, with the 100K that I just got? Well, that's a great question. Um, I got to take a look at what's going on with Reggie Bush because Reggie Bush will probably be the final thing that we need to add. Uh, let me see what his power up is uh, because he's relatively, he stayed at like the, you know, that price where it's like, it's going to be, um, you know, 600 K when you combine everything. So he's been right there. And the reason is because any theme team that he's going to be on is going to be outrageous. So that's something that you just have to pay attention to. So right there is at 222, right? And then his main part, I think it's still like 400K. All right, so it's down to like 401. Now, pretty much what's going on is this, right? Regardless of what you do, you're going to have to spend, right? We just don't want to spend ridiculous coin. But my issue is this, Bo, Big Bad Bo Jizzle, he actually makes a lot of plays for me. Um, and just so you guys are wondering, the average prices of all of these things, like the uh, the fresh players, is about 20K, and it's 32 of them. So it's always going to be around 600K that most of these things are going to actually come out to, unless you get lucky and snipe it. Remember, just because you complete the set, uh, unless you bought packs, you still got to spend the same amount. Because I've seen snipes here and there, but you're going to be about 600K for both. So as long as you get the power up in the card currently, with the way the market is, around 600K, that's the value of it with the power up and the actual card. So he's down to about 401, right? So I just got a quick 100K. I don't know what's in my binder and how I can utilize it and what I'm gonna be able to do, but I have to figure it out because there's no other way around it. He being a 49er is gonna make the team a lot better. The problem is less broken tackles and we're gonna have to just get jiggy with it, bro. Like da 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 da. Like it's gonna have to get crazy. That is the only way we're gonna have success. So that's pretty much what I may save up for um, obviously, if you have other things going on with your squad where you need to start to beef up certain things, you need to start looking into that as the week progresses because they're going to be dropping new content. So you will have somewhere around uh, an opportunity, uh, depending on how that works. I also want to, um, we got to touch base on the tokens. Uh, somebody asked about how many tokens we should have. Well, they just released new legends. So uh, release, okay, this got, yeah, we don't care about either of those guys. So the legends tokens right now, this is gonna be another token. So I'm gonna go right now and check out exactly how many we should have. Um, and then we'll pretty much go from there so that way you guys will have an understanding of what we should have. That's another thing, that's also with the grinding. Uh, because when everybody else is like, yeah, I skipped the week, I skipped this, you know, I was doing that we will still be eaten properly, all right? That's the whole objective. And like I said, you adjust your schedule accordingly. That's what you have to do. Everybody has difficult schedules, but you know what? We make time for the things that we want. So at this point, after I do that one, we're gonna have 10. So there will be eight remaining. For those of you guys that were asking, um, we should have 10, it'll be eight remaining. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and take care of that challenge right after this video is over to make sure that we're update, you know, we're updated with that situation as we go forward. But I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys understand 100K right now. Let me explain to you guys another thing you can do if you're not looking for a specific card. You can lurk training. All right. Now, why is training important? Why is that something that, yo, know, Gmai, what are you talking about, dude? Like, what do you mean? Well, pretty much right now, when I'm lurking training, I'm looking for at least a minimum of 90 and I'm looking for about 125, you know, something like that. Like dudes were putting up cards for so cheap over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the price has since raised, but these are things that you can do. You can look after cheap training. Now, look, remember the market is going to be a little bit different right now. It raised up. This guy I was getting for like 115, 120 last week. He's up to 150. Everybody's understanding what's going on. So as you go through it and, um, you start to look at some of the cards like he's down to 142 it's going to start to gradually come down as newer cards are released so you know you can take your time guys um byron jones sucks uh so we have the team of the week and legends were the things that i usually dabble in and you can see that the 142 uh is going on for both of them for both the team of the week and you know with, with finnegan and also richard seymour so as we watch these rates that's 5,000 training right there so you guys can start to build up your your sprinter you can start to do different things with that um other than that there's nothing else that i really want mean joe green is an absolute joke and uh, also the set the center is pretty good though the center uh that they just put out was pretty good in the wire i think that was um let's go verify that that's who it was but um yeah other than that i'm not really uh looking to do anything else because there's no other cards that i really want at this time so i think that that was kevin mawai my way right yep that's him um, mean Joe Green is an absolute, he's just a joke. You get him on your team, I'm running the ball up the middle and trucking him for six with a skinny uh, running back with no legs. Like, it's it's really ridiculous right now what transpires in this video game, but that's not what this is about. So, again, that's the, those are just some of the things that I can look for. Now I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the squad to give you an idea of what's going on. And, you know, as we continue to build through, you guys are going to, you're going to get better. You're going to get better at whatever you're doing. I'm just going to keep giving you that food for thought to start to think outside the box and create your own uh, situation where you're just going crazy. That's what I want for you guys. All right. So this is where we are right now. Um, you guys can go ahead and take a look at everything that's going on. We are a 50, 50, 49 er squad, and we also have 41 of 40 sprinters. So that's maxed out as well. Balanced O is at 40 or 45. Lockdown is at 37 to 40. Do I really care about, you know, getting it maxed out? Not really. But, you know, it is something that we probably would look into doing uh, very soon as they drop new content. Please look out for future videos coming very, very soon. As in addition to, they're going to be dropping some new cards this week. Uh, rumor is it's a card that we haven't seen in Madden for a while. So definitely check out the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Please feel free to do so. Any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave it in the comment section. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. Until next time. One love, y'all.